coaster enthusiasts, this is a delayed video. I unfortunately just didn't have the time to make it. We have some disappointing news from Gulf Shores, Alabama. On June 26, Waterville, USA announced that their wooden roller coaster, the Cannonball Run, will be removed and will close permanently on September 16th. The park says that the ride is being removed to make way for exciting new attractions. The Cannonball Run was designed by member Dennis McNulty and built by Custom Coasters International in 1995. The ride has a height of 65 feet, a top speed of 43 miles per hour, and a track length of 1,700 feet. This announcement came as a surprise to me because I feel that the Cannonball Run is the park's major attraction, but I have a feeling that Waterville USA is going to stick to its water park over the amusement rides, so that may be one of the reasons why they're going to get rid of Cannonball Run. Even though the chances for relocating a wooden roller coaster are slim at this time, I actually really believe that the Cannonball Run has a chance. The ride has a pretty simple out and back layout, and it's really not a very large ride. It's only a medium sized wooden roller coaster. As I said, it only has 1,700 feet of track. So if it were to be relocated, this would actually be one of the smallest wooden roller coasters to be relocated. I had a brief conversation with Waterville USA's operations manager and she said that the park is willing to sell the coaster. So the Historic Coaster Foundation will be showing the Cannonball Run to various different parks throughout the southeastern United States. Parks that could potentially benefit from a ride like Cannonball Run. However, the question is which amusement park in the southeast would be a good fit for the Cannonball Run and would they have the finances to do so? There are a few parks in the southeast and even the midwest that could be a good home for the Cannonball Run. I actually would like to suggest this coaster to the park at OWA. They have the room for the ride and on top of that, the park is only a few miles from Waterville, USA so it wouldn't be moving a very long distance. I definitely think this ride would be a good fit for that park because it would be a really good family friendly coaster and it would be good for people who haven't yet got the courage to face their larger and more intense Rollin' Thunder coaster, which opened just last year. If the park at OWA gets the Cannonball Run or if some other park gets the ride, I would encourage them to reopen the ride by 2020 because that would be the year of the Cannonball Run's 25th anniversary or maybe reopen it in 2021 or something like that. But this little ride has a nice looking layout and it really looks a lot older than it really is. And I really think that this is a ride worth saving. And I believe that if the Cannonball Run is relocated, that that will reignite the interest in relocating wooden roller coasters and the preservation of wooden coasters overall. This ride has gone through tough times before. It was severely damaged by a hurricane. So if it can survive a hurricane, hopefully it can survive demolition. So that's all for today, enthusiasts. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry to bring some disappointing news, but hopefully something positive will come out of this and the ride will find a new home. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and to like and share. And we'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, enthusiasts, and hope for the best.